Day five. Yep. I almost broke today. I am just absolutely sick of rice. But I have to bear in mind the reason why I'm doing this challenge in the first place, and it's to recognize what other people have to go through in the world. They don't have a choice. I am coming out of this really understanding what I have here and what we all have in this country right now is a lot. We're spoiled. Okay, not all spoiled, which comes to the point. You can donate to courses like this, but one thing I'd like to suggest right now, especially with the circumstances, the high prices of food going up and energy costs and everything, there are families out there, there are people out there who are having to go to food banks and rash themselves week to week here in the UK. So next time you go out shopping, you see those, in some supermarkets, they have those big baskets full of food that you can donate to the front. Next time you go shopping, pick up a couple of, you know, doesn't have to be anything expensive, a couple of cheap cans and just pop them in at the end. <laughs> that little something, which I'll probably start doing. Every time I do a shop, just, even if it's just one can or something, and at the end, just pop it in, and you're helping others right around you, which can go a long way. But, yeah. I'm going to go and eat my fluff one nice. Thanks. This week is feeling long, like super long. I, um, it's, I feel like my stomach is just starting to reject rice at this point because it's the same thing over and over and over again, I think, like I've mentioned. And it's coming so close to breaking so many times, but again, seen it through. It's uh, not 
just about experiencing it for no reason at all. It's about understanding and yeah, it's really difficult to, to say at this point. Just having dinner, a bit of fried rice, fried up rice this time, and again flatbread. I do still have the sardines, can't wait to have them. Again, I avoided them because the sardines have a strong flavour to them and it's strong flavours that would feel not help at this point. You gotta ride the waves. Um, yeah, I. Just one more day tomorrow of like. I've got one more portion of the falafels that I made. Um, so, the same again lunch, beans and rice. Then the falafels and rice, or the red lentil stuff, I keep my chickpea stuff. Mine's going. <laughs> but it's the red lentil soup mix that I made. And then on Saturday, I've got my sardines ready. I've got plenty of dough left over for black bread because I managed to push now in such a way. I have blasted and I look forward to those flatbreads now. They just they taste so nice, they're crispy and thin. I'm definitely going to keep making them after this. But um, you know, Saturday will be sardine day. And um, Sunday, book bang day. <laughs> yeah, I. I didn't expect it, expect it to be this hard. Maybe I could have done more things with the rice and everything, more cooking, and I wish I wasn't working all day. I probably would have, I would have probably tried the rice flour and potentially to try and do some kind of rice cakes and you know, really mush it down in a way. I, I, there's so many th things I could have done differently, but um, I had to sort of pick up a lot of food and get it more prepared in advance. It was hard to make anything fresh and to really get things together being on ship Pan Am right now where um, I mean if they do this every year and if anyone's thinking about doing it next year I highly recommend you to get used to cooking you get good at cooking you know what you're doing and you figure out a lot of recipes and make a plan before the week starts it could make it a lot easier. Although I have seen some posts of people who went ahead making these bean burgers and all sorts. And come up to today and seen posts, the same people saying, oh, I've got nothing left, just rice. It's just like, yeah, you're still thinking in the mindset that you are just spoiled for choice. That's not the idea, it's a ration, not a, oh, go ahead and see what kind of fantastic recipes you can show off on Instagram. Completely wrong method. And um, one of my concerns worldwide, while they are fantastic for doing this, they were promoting those posts, which is a bad idea. Such a bad idea. You should have promoted the post of people who were doing it properly, who are rationing out the food. But instead, they keep showing off, like, oh, look at this, this person made a whole bag of all the flour and everything. And that same person now has no food left apart from rice. So, yes, so I was careful with my rations. Like I said, I've still got the sardines for Saturday, something to look forward to. How can be going? I managed to make the chickpeas last a whole week. These are 85 grams of dried chickpeas. Um, the beans, one tin of beans lasted a whole week. The 100 odd grams of red lentils, a whole week. And even the flour, a whole week. I had flatbread every single day. The recipe guide said make three portions out of the recipe mix. I ignored that. I did some tests last week before I did this. And I worked out I can get six portions, basically doubling it. And I felt it's about this big. Yeah, the thin, the crispy, but the delicious stuff, they helped fixing the flavours and the old textures and everything. So worked out really well for me. Yeah. Um, but I'm all on to day we into now. Is this day five? Yeah. Day five. This is day five. Day five. Hmm. Well on day six tomorrow. Last day and I really hope I don't end up just wanting to chuck my guts up over rice. I will not be I will not want to look at the stuff again after this for a while. But again, there are people out there who literally have no choice. That is the day-to-day -day meal, indefinitely. 
until something different comes along. Yeah. So, see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a blast. Thank mm -hmm. you.